Hudson and I'm a homeworks consultant. Today we're going to take a look inside of the parent-led textbook kit for Math 6 4th edition. We're going to take a look inside of the teacher edition, the student textbook, and we're also going to talk about the assessment packet and the answer keys. So join me as we take a look inside these books. This is the Math 6 teacher edition and this is the 4th edition book. So this teacher edition does have two parts. So this is part one. And let's go ahead and start by looking at the table of contents. This book is going to talk a lot about multiplying, dividing, whole numbers, adding, subtracting fractions, multiplying fractions and decimals, dividing by decimals. You are also going to see on this next page that the headers in this portion of the table of contents are grayed out. That means those chapters are in part two of the teacher edition book. So in part two, you're going to be talking about perimeter area, volume, ratio, statistics, measurement, and integers. The beginning of this book always provides a lot of good information to look through before you begin teaching this course. They've even included some information about the homeschool hub, which you'll be able to find all of your extra resources. And they've provided some information about the afterschoolhelp.com website where you can find some extra practice if needed. I'm going to go ahead now and flip ahead and we're going to take a look at chapter 5. At the beginning of each chapter there is a lesson plan overview. This page will tell you which lesson numbers we're on. It will also match up the student pages, the teacher edition pages, any resources you might need to teach that lesson, and then give you an idea of what the topic and the skill is for each of those days. Here is the first part of chapter five, and there's some information here for the chapter objectives. Overall, what am I going to learn? I also see a couple of yellow boxes, which have some information for me as a parent. One of the notes I see is about teachertoolsonline.com. I just want to make a note here that if you ever see that web page listed in this teacher edition, please know that as a homeschool parent, those resources for you are going to be found on the homeschool hub. I also notice on this page that I have something about a STEM project. So there are four STEM projects mixed throughout this course, and the first one happens to be in chapter five. So we'll talk about that in a couple moments. So this is lesson number 41. I see up at the top which pages my students should be doing in their workbook, also which daily review they're going to be working on, my objectives for the day, and my teacher resources. I do want to make a note that the teacher resource today says 18 fraction number lines. I'm going to show you in a few minutes where you can go to find that, so let's just remember that word for right now. The information typically in the margins, is all information for you to use to present the lesson. Anything in the black font is usually notes for you to read through and then understand how to present the information. Anything in blue you're wanting to ask your student or talk about with your student, and anything in red would be the responses or answers to those questions in blue. I do want to point out that we do have the student pages embedded into the teacher edition. So if there were questions that you wanted to work out together, you do have the answers there for you in the red font on those pages. And after those two pages in the student book, I have the answers to the daily review section. I will show you where those are in the student book in a little bit, but those directly follow your lesson for the teacher edition. So all the answers are real easy to find for you. I know that I get to the end of all my teaching when I get to this apply section. This is where I'm going to assign my student problems for the day. I also see my daily review that I'm assigning for the day. Sometimes in a lesson you might see something like this. It's called differentiated instruction. So sometimes when you introduce new information to your child, they might be kind of confused on how uh, to approach it. Maybe they need a different explanation. So sometimes the differentiated instruction blocks will give you another way to teach that information. And that is pretty much how the lessons are set up for this book. Objectives at the beginning, if you have any resources, they're listed, and then you do your instruction for the day. Each chapter ends with a chapter review. 
here we go, a chapter review to go over all the key concepts from that chapter. And then after that, we actually have a cumulative review to review everything we've learned up to this point. So that's how each chapter ends. And now this chapter, remember, ended with a STEM project. So the STEM project this time is called You, V, and Me. And it says, why should I be concerned about solving health and safety problems? And your student will go through a series of questions and work out some math, come up with a prototype, try to solve the problem. All of the objectives each day are listed for you. Those teacher resources are also listed for you of what you need. You can go through the questions and have a discussion with them. We found that these are pretty interesting questions and actually relate to real life. So it's a fun way to see how math can be applied to things in your daily life. I'm going to jump ahead again now to this back section called solutions. Sometimes in the teacher edition, the response or answer to a problem might be a little bit too long uh, to fit onto the teacher edition page. If that happens, there is a section in the back called solutions and it will give a more detailed answer for you to be able to check your child's work. That is not for every single problem back here at the back. It's just some of the ones that are too big or too long to fit on the teacher edition pages. And then I'm gonna jump ahead to one more spot. At the back of the book, this is where those instructional aids are. So remember on lesson 41, we needed 18 fraction number lines. So this is the fraction number lines page. And at the bottom, I see that this is instructional aid 18. It says for use with lesson 41. So this is the page I would use to help teach my lesson. If I needed to print out a copy, and I didn't want to photocopy from this teacher edition, I could actually print these pages out from the Homeschool Hub. They are all listed in your course resources in the instructional aid folder. So if there was something I needed to print, I could do it from there, and then I could just send it directly from my phone to the printer. And I'm gonna flip ahead a little bit more. That STEM project also had some uh, instructional aids to go with it. And I just wanted to point out that these are also listed at the back of your TE in the instructional aids. But again, you can find those on the Homeschool Hub as well. All right, at the very back of the book, I also have an index. So if there was a topic that I needed to flip to quickly and I wasn't sure where in the book it would be, I do have the index to find those uh, topics really quickly. So that is the Math 6 Teacher Edition. This is the Math 6 Student Edition book. Now this book is a textbook and not a workbook, so students are going to want separate sheets of paper to be able to show their work and complete the problems. This book starts out with the table of contents, just to give an overview of the entire book. And then we're going to jump ahead and we're going to look at chapter 5 because that's what we looked at in the teacher edition book. So this is what the student's book looks like. This is what they're seeing as you're going through the lesson. So we looked at lesson number 41 in the TE. So here I've matched it up. This is lesson 41. You can see that down at the bottom of the page. The page starts out with some information here and a little bit of extra information here for some reminders of common themes for this section as your students doing their work. The rest of the page is practice for them to complete. I do notice that there's 50 questions on this page. It would be appropriate in Math 6 to assign part of the questions and not necessarily all of them. Typically, as a teacher, I would assign either the odds or the evens. And then if my students were struggling with the problems I gave them and the odds, then I would assign some problems in the evens to make sure that they really truly understand the concepts before we move on. So that could be one way you approach these problems. You do not have to feel like you need to do all 50 problems in a day. If your student is understanding the concept, it's okay to pick and choose and then move on. So this is chapter five. And here's the chapter review and the cumulative review at the end of the chapter. And then the next page is the STEM pages. So this would go with that STEM project. And this is the questions that they would be answering while they're working through that STEM project. 
So remember though that this book also had those daily reviews. Those are at the back of the book. So I'm in chapter five. I would go to the chapter five page, which starts here on page 423. And on day one of chapter five, I would be doing review 5A. And then the next day, I would be doing 5B. And then this is where you would find all of your daily reviews. Again, you're already doing 50 questions or half that or however many you choose with your child uh, in the actual lesson for the day. So if you felt like it was too much with the daily review, you are welcome to modify to fit your family's needs. Uh, for me, if I know that my child is really struggling, for instance, in uh, writing answers with fractions and getting to the lowest terms, I might assign all of this. If I know that my child understands this and we can get away with just doing a couple of a review to keep it fresh in our minds, then I would assign just a couple. So it's really up to you on how you approach the reviews and also those lessons just based on your family's needs. So this is the student edition textbook. This is the math six assessment packet and the answer key. So the assessment packet would have the tests in it and any of the quizzes that you would need to go along with those chapters. And then the assessment answer key would have all the answers that you need for those quizzes and the tests. Thanks for joining me as we looked inside of the Math 6 4th Edition Parent-Led Textbook Kit. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your local Homeworks by Precept consultant. We would all love to answer your questions.